We are here in Juarez, Mexico with Operation Christmas Child distributing some shoe boxes. We just want to show you some of the highlights of what we've been doing. The question is why Juarez? And the answer is simple. The Lord was moving on our heart to come to be a blessing. We're looking for somewhere where we can make a difference. We know we're doing it at home. We know it's your work, Lord. And so we decided to um, at the invitation of Carlos. It's cold. Fred, you ready for this one? 5959. Five, yeah. Keep it going. This, the job here in Juarez, it's um, twofold. Um, primarily, uh, we came the first night and, and set up about 1,200 chairs and after our flights and everything. And then uh, next morning, we come down, the building two-thirds fills up and, and um, great presentation for the kids, uh, well organized. And then we got to start sharing the shoe boxes that were lovingly prayed for and packed back in the States and really in many parts of the world. We got 16 buses full of kids from, an, from elementary schools coming to do the program. It'll be lots of fun. Just seeing the looks on those kids' faces, just seeing what the Lord is doing in their heart. They get a, a very clear gospel track, an invitation to a 10-week um, time in God's Word. And if they graduate, and that's the goal, of course, that their parents come and they get to hear the gospel. This will be the 12th year that we do it. and. Uh, uh, on those uh, 12 years, we reached thousands of children with the gospel. This this year alone, we're doing 40,000 gifts here in Juarez, and we're doing a total of 700,000 in all of Mexico. The team, hey, no complaining, no, I mean, we are so grateful for how things are at home, but at the same time, so blessed to be here in a place where God really uh, is doing something extraordinary. Some people think we're crazy to go here, but others think that it's cool that we're just telling people about how we're spreading Christ to all these children. This is our first time together here in Mexico at Juarez, and we've been having so much fun watching the kids and watching them smile and sharing Jesus with them. And it's really important to bring your kids out and let them experience that and not just hear about it, but get to see it firsthand. And they're so blessed to get to do it. We just considered it a real blessing to be able to serve together as a family and um, grow in a relationship with the Lord and have opportunities to bless other people like we have been abundantly blessed. One of the things that's been awesome about this trip is, well, it's been a bit of a family reunion for many who went with us to Israel. And um, while not everyone who's on this trip went to Israel, more than two thirds. And, and one of the unique and wonderful things is that it's a, a lot of families. And we found that when mom and dad take their sons and daughters on the mission trip, um, it's not just coming home with stories. They've been there, they've experienced it, they've been a part. And it's so much our heart that every person here would have that opportunity. We're here in Loma Blanca, one of the colonies here in Juarez. As you can see, this is a place that's where the squatters make their home, uh, greatly impoverished. As a matter of fact, there's no running water here. All of the water that they get here is actually delivered to them once a week by truck and that's non-potable water. Here in this colony, obviously the ice becomes frozen at night. I believe it was 23 degrees last night. Um, this colony's existed for three years and still is without, still without running water. This is Candelaria, one of the local residents of uh, the colony, and she tells us about such things as this. We pray, Lord, that you would cry, that you would just step into his body right now, Lord, and remove all of this AIDS. But Lord, to do so to save him and his family and all, Lord, of this of, of, of Loma Blanca, Lord. When he leaves this planet, he is going to be standing face to face with God. And what an awesome, awesome uh, assurance and hope. One of the things you realize being somewhere like this is how important ministries like Operation Christmas Child are. And while it's not the only ministry reaching out to the poor, this is one that's reaching out to the extreme poor around the world. Awesome for us to be a part, for you to be a part, and I encourage you to pray for, to uh, participate in, um, contribute to both the work of Operation Christmas Child, Samaritan's Purse, and anything else that's touching the world for Jesus. Uh, 
as far as our feelings toward Amigo Fiel, we cannot believe how well organized, how just anointed and blessed this ministry is. I could not imagine a better leader than Carlos. And uh, we have uh, so little in common and so much in common. And uh, I've so enjoyed being in fellowship with him, working alongside of him, and look forward to many more opportunities. We're in the downtown city square here of Juarez, and we're uh, giving the opportunity for people to come to know Jesus as their Lord and Savior. As you can see before, behind me here, there is uh, Carlos, and he is actually giving a gospel message from a track that talks about how to get peace with God. The people here have gathered through clowns and through uh, different competitions and so forth, and now that the crowd is gathered, and this is very similar to what we see in the book of Acts, where Paul would gather at the marketplace, because it's where the people gathered. And so here with the people gathering, here it is, Carlos, giving the invitation for people to come to know Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Here we are near uh, an endless amount of shops, uh, in, in no shortage of places to eat, uh, little side markets and little corner uh, merchants. And yet in all of this, the gospel of Jesus Christ is going forth for the needy of all types, from all social strata, and certainly every human being. That was fun, that was fun, it looks pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> Calvary Chapel, Chico, yeah. thank you so much for sending this wonderful right. gift. We had a wonderful outreach, this weekend was really good, and I just want to say a big thank you for your prayers, for your support, we love you, and we send greetings from here from Juarez. May God richly bless you, and we hope to see you real soon. Amen. Until then. Thank you, my friends. Thank you, brothers. I love you, the window, the door, and the dog, and the onion mushrooms. <laughs> CCC TV and I'm Olivia and we're I'm at the I forgot <laughs> sorry I want you to